Hey Grandma, so this week uh, we looked at uh, the GI tract uh, a little bit and uh, diarrhea and diarrhea causing diseases. And really quick, diarrhea is basically uh, having a watery or loose stool. And um, it can be either be either or or both at the same time. Uh, you can also have loose stool with uh, hematochesia, which is basically bright red blood uh, with your stool. Um, in order for it to be diagnosed as diarrhea, though, it uh, it is a symptom. But uh, in order for it to be diagnosed, it has to be you have to have at least three or more episodes per day um, of diarrhea. Uh, it is actually one of the leading causes of death in children around the world, more so than uh, AIDS and malaria. Is what I read in the book. Uh, some of the risk factors. I just mentioned it's a leading cause of death in children. Uh, age is a risk factor, including uh, children, uh, the elderly. It affects them uh, more so. And um, also it affects immunocompromised uh, people. Uh, also malnourished individuals, uh, especially children that are malnourished. Uh, uh, when they're affected by diarrhea, plus being malnourished, it, uh, it kind of increases the risk of, of death. Uh, other behavioral risk factors include uh, not washing your hands, especially because the route of uh, introduced, introducing the, the disease, uh, diarrhea causing disease, is uh, usually through fecal matter into, uh, into the mouth. Um, that could be either by not washing your hands and somehow getting some feces on your hand, or touching uh, an object that has uh, has feces on it, uh, so always remember to wash your hands. Um, other things, traveling around the world, you might travel into country, countries that are prone to uh, high rates of diarrhea, and uh, just maybe because people like to eat out, and usually uh, if you're eating out, especially uh, uh, eating food from street vendors, that can uh, increase the the risk of of uh, getting some kind of episodes of diarrhea. Uh, we looked at f four uh, diarrhea causing diseases and uh, they were the microbes and or microorganisms were uh, cryptosporidium, the other was uh, E. coli, specifically enterotoxin E. coli. Um, also we looked at uh, Shigella and the last one was a virus, and that was a, the rotavirus. And I actually have a picture of it here. S small little diagram. There we go. And the rotavirus is a virus that is encapsulated. Um, it does not have a lipid, uh, a lipid a membrane. Instead, what it has, it has these proteins that form a capsid. You have viral proteins. This one's viral protein four. What this, what this uh, viral protein does, it it actually attaches to enterocytes, right? Which is the cell of uh, the cells that line the intestine. And and so, sorry. And so, um, uh, once this cell attaches, sorry, once the virus attaches to the cell through this viral protein it introduces the RNA that's inside the virus. This virus is an RNA virus, not a DNA virus. Um, also within this capsid, you have uh, non-structural proteins, uh, specifically non-structural protein uh, one, which um, gets introduced into the host cell as well. And it kind of uh, interferes with the interferon pathway uh, of the cell. Um, it also, non-structural protein one actually also one of the cool things that it actually does is is it's kind of like a it masks the viral mRNA uh, so what it does it it attaches to the uh, five prime end and it kind of it's kind of like a spy I guess it kind of covers covers it up and it uh, allows for some of the uh, host cell machinery such as the ribosomes to uh, uh, translate the, the mRNA into protein. Um, also you have non-structural protein number uh, four 
and what that does it actually releases uh, calcium within the enterocytes leading to uh, some kind of structural defects within the, uh, the cytoskeleton of the cell and so what that does it it uh, ends up killing the cell and kind of releasing some of the uh, cell content into the intestine into the lumen of the intestine and uh, basically creating this uh, imbalance of osmolarity and, and creating diarrhea. Um, that's about all the time I have right now, but uh, that's some of the things that we've learned. I hope uh, if you have any other questions, I'll talk to you later and uh, I'll answer them to the best of my ability. I'll see you later.